Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. You're with Sambo and joining us as always is Seraphis, our level 33 Worgen Mage. Say good day, Seraphis. The beast in me hungers. That's right, the beast in you hungers. And you know what, folks? Actually, I told a little bit of a porky. She's no longer a level 33 Worgen Mage. That's right, we had a bit of a boo-boo just before when I handed in my daily cooking quest. Because, as you know, if you'd watched the previous episode, if you'd joined us then, you'll know that I said that I'd do all my housework duties around here in Darnassus, of course, before we kicked off our next episode. Well, the first thing I did was do a cooking quest, and as soon as I handed it in, we got 2,900 XP, and you know what that did? It did a whole bunch of things. Firstly, to my surprise, it kicked us over. You can see down here in the uh, chat log, it kicked us over to level 34. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes, that's right, Seraphis. It is fantastic. But unfortunately, we didn't get it on film. Oh, oh, well, never mind. Anyhow, we are now 34, folks. And, of course, with level 34 comes another little gift. Here we go. Look at this molten armor. We're going to go to our mage trainer and train that. This is our first of our mage armors, which we normally used to get back in the old days. Used to get right back uh, at very early levels. And, of course much like conjuring food this is now only available much later on and you can see it's just become available now so molten armor, armor causes 17 fire damage when hit and increases your spell critical strike chance by three <clears> percent <throat> excuse me and it also reduces the chance that you are critically hit by five percent now only one type of armor spell can be active on the mage at any one time and we will get more later on but uh, this is our first so we'll definitely go over and train that very shortly but we got something else, folks, as well. I can't believe this. Of all the times to get all of these things when we weren't filming. Stupid me. Anyway, look at this. We got a new a cooking quest here. It's called Let's Do Lunch Darnassus. And what you get it for is for completing each of the Darnassus cooking daily quests. So you can see there we've got Remembering the Ancestors, Back to Basics, Ribs for the Sentinels, Spiced Bread are plenty, and the one we did today, which was uh, the secret to perfect kimchi. Now, I'm going to assume that... Let's have a look. Let's do lunch here. Yeah, look at this. We've got Let's Do Lunch Iron Forge, and we've got Let's Do Lunch Stormwind as well. So, in other words, you have to do them for all of the major cities, not just Darnassus. But there you go. So, imagine my surprise when we handed in the cooking quest, and we dinged a level, and got ourselves an achievement. I honestly can't believe it, and I'm so sorry that you guys missed out on that. Anyway, never mind. What we'll do quickly is we'll mount up. And, of course, you know we're on our brand new swanky... Frost Saber mount there, our striped Frost Saber, which is just fantastic. What we'll do is we'll quickly scoot over here and we'll train up our new armor, which is fantastic. Another major part of the Mage's arsenal there, of course. And later on, we'll get all sorts of different types of armors. But for now, we've got the Molten Armor. So let's quickly go to... Hang on, where's my Mage Trainer? There it is. Any friend of Greymane is a friend of mine. Yeah, well, we're definitely a friend of Greymane because we are a Worgen, of course. All right, so I seek further training. Here we go. You can see that it's Molten Armor, and we train that baby. There we go. Farewell. Now, if we look in our spell book, and there it is, Molten Armor. So what I want to do is... Uh, well, that's interesting. What's going on there? Somehow our... Oh, I wonder if... I'm just having a look there. My uh, add-on has gone a bit wonky. I'll fix that up a bit later on. Anyway, Molten Armor is something that we want to pop out onto our hotbars. I'll just drag it over here for now. We'll put it somewhere proper uh, later on. But let's test that out. So we'll just hop off our mount for a second. And let's see what that looks like. Here we go. And there it is. And of course, any of you familiar with playing well will be familiar with that sound and that sight as well. So there we go. An extra 17 fire damage to any attackers that actually strike us. Our chance to receive a critical hit is reduced by 5%. And our actual spell crit strike chance is increased by 3%. And of course, being a offensive mage, we definitely want all of the crit that we can get. So there it is, folks. How good is that? All right, what we'll do now is we'll pause and I'll finish off all of my duties here in Darnassus, i.e. the fishing quest, and we'll do our cooking and our smelting and any auction house selling and stuff like that, and then we'll meet you guys back in the quest zone of Stone Talon. So once again, sorry I missed all that, but uh, there we go, a quick recap, and we'll see you again soon. 
Hi everyone, okay, we're nearly back. We've just done our fishing daily and I thought I'd better show you this one because we've got something very special in our bags. If we have a look here, that's right, look at this. Something that I always try to get on all of my characters. And let me bring it up the top here so we can see it a little bit better. This dropped out of the bag of shiny things from our fishing trainer from our daily quest, by the way. And it is dun -dun 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 -dun, a weather beaten journal. And this is a fantastic, it's a relatively new item in the world of Warcraft this has been around for a long long time and you can see here that it's got a fantastic ability teaches you the fine art of fish finding and this is just fantastic if you love fishing it's the weather beaten journal and again it's a random drop in the bag of shinies so let's learn this there we go and look at that, we've got ourselves an achievement, learn the ability to find fish. So not only is it a really cool ability, but we also get ourselves an achievement out of it. So very happy about that. And the way it works is up here on your mini map, you've got your tracking, the little icon up the top here. Of course, we've got it set to finding minerals already, which is for our mining. But now look at that, we've got an option that reads find fish. So if I tick that, there we go, we've now got fish finding active and basically the way it works is if you are near any schools of fish, and of course there's none here, if you're near any schools of fish it will basically show up like a yellow dot on your mini map just like the, our uh, mining nodes do and as if you're a herbalist or anything like that, any kind of gathering profession, when you see those little yellow dots on your mini map, yep, well that's how it's going to look now with our fish finder active. So very, very happy about that. All right, so hopefully now, next time you see us, we'll be in Stone Talon Mountains and we'll see you then. And we're back, folks. Here we are, back in Windshear Hold, back in the Stone Talon Mountains, of course, which is where we left off in our main questing in the last episode. So, of course, if we have a look at our map, you can see we've got a couple of things to do here. We've got this one for Alice here, Just Ask Alice, where we have to collect all these parts here for Big Papa, or whatever his name is. Yep, Big Papa, there he goes. And you can see we've got to collect some mechanized fire, ice, and air, as well as a piece of war app. Apparatus. And of course we've got free our sisters that quest where we have to go and free our night elf allies if you like from the horde cages we have to get some horde cage keys and be able to free them from the cages that they've been locked up in so without further ado let's do it let's hop on our brand spanking new oh. night elf mount which we're very proud of look at that lovely striped frost saber there and we head off into the great wide yonder now what do we got here a tin vein it's a good start. Of course, we always want to be grabbing any ore we can, sell that up on the auction house. And of course, while we were away, that's exactly what I did while we are in Darnassus. It didn't uh, bore you with all of that, but we put a whole bunch of smelted ore up on the AH. And hopefully, of course, that will translate into some nice gold for us. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to, let's have a look. Just ask Alice, let's read this. Um, his hat was stolen over by the water wheel and his batteries are hidden around Windshear Crag. Okay, so in other words, we have to go and find the hat by the water wheel. And of course, the water wheel is way over the side there. You can just see it off in the distance if we have a look. Let's have a look there. Yep, there it is over in the distance. That's where we have to go to get his hat. And the other batteries are, of course, dotted around the landscape here. Now, you may remember just before we got all excited because we learned the find fish ability. And you can see it in action here. Here on our mini map, we've got a dot and it's in the water. You can see there in the river. And it says Greater Sagefish School. And not only that, but of course, the school of fish here in the water itself is actually sparkling. And that's something that you only get if you do get that weather beaten journal and you get the find fish ability uh, the actual pools in the water will sparkle so it's fantastic really really cool we won't bother fishing now but um yeah i certainly wish you luck and if you are fishing and doing the fishing dailies then i certainly hope that you'll get the journal as well all right so i'm pretty sure it's these guys here we need for the cage key so we'll just get a little bit oh i was going to say get a get, get a bit out of range but unfortunately I got too close to the other guy. Now, one of the other things we have to do, of course, is make sure we've got our new ability active, and that, of course, is our molten armor. So we'll pop that. There we go. So that gives us an extra 
an extra crit chance amongst, amongst other things and also causes 17 fire damage to anybody that gives us a good thumping and our, also our spell critical strike is increased by 3% so we absolutely want that up at all times and especially until later on in the piece when we get more types of armor and they're kind of situational too depends on what you're doing and um, right now we just want the crit and it's the only armor type that we have anyway all right so these guys need to drop a horde cage key for us so far we've been a bit unlucky not every single one of them will drop it of course there we go let's have a look and there we are we got one horde cage key if we have a look in our bags there it is it's that red key there and its use ability is to unlock horde cages and look at that there's a horde cage and there we go so we now have oh this is interesting she's a huntress and she's turned into our ally so that's really cool actually because it means if we free them we get a temporary little ally to help us beat these guys up uh, so that's really nice I wonder if we get more than one actually we'll soon find out okay so let's attack this guy from a distance see what she does all right so she's ranged as well so that's great so she's gonna help us on the DPS front jolly good oh and we've got a large blue sack look at that so that's actually just randomly dropped that actually is a bag just a ordinary 10 slot bag so that's really nice and I can see we've got some kind of quest over here as well. Oh, and what on earth is that? Oh my lord, will you look at that? And we've got a player over there as well, a level 29 goblin hunter. So this is interesting. So that is actually a horde player there. And how? Okay. So they're not flagged for PvP. That's a horde goblin. That's what they look like. There we go. <laughs> we'll give her a wave. Now we can't communicate to them, of course. Greetings. And if we were... If we were flagged for PvP, we'd be attacking each other, actually. Uh, but there you go, I've just said hello, because I'm friendly. Alright, so let's have a look and see what this has got for us. It's a big sign that says, stay out. Beware of Cragjaw. Okay, so it's something to do with that fish over there. By order of people not wanting to get themselves devoured by a, a really huge fish, Cragpool Lake is off limits. Someone decided to go up and put a huge dwarf-eating fish in the lake. And that would be that one out there, I guess. It is strongly recommended that you stay out. However, if you are the heroic type, oh, I think that's us, and you have a few friends around, do us all a favor and kill the damn thing. Maybe I can get some fishing done then, eh? Okay, so if you manage to actually do it, meet me back at the Windshear Hold for a reward, and that's from Old Iron Gut. So we have to kill Cragjaw and take his huge tooth. Now it says here suggested players two, so we may not be able to actually do it on our own. Um, that's an interesting one, but we can soon find out, I suppose. Uh, it may be too hard for us, but uh, yeah, we'll give it a crack. We'll, this could be us dying, who knows. We'll just wait till we get in range and then we'll sort of run to the shore, although it might evade. Let's see what happens. 3,200 hit points. That's a whole lot. Let's run. In fact, we'll blink. Out of the way a little bit. Oh, good lord, it's floating out of the water. We'll lock it down. There we go. And you can see the Horde player is also sent in as pet. And that's nice because that means he's helping us. I think what we'll do is the same for him as well. We'll stick around. There we go. And we got the huge, huge jaw. Let's hang around and do it for him as well. Because that would be the nice thing to do. Oh, we can skin it too. Oh, except they're skinning it. That's okay. Let's help him as well. And now, again, we can't communicate with uh, players of the opposing faction. Oh, maybe, maybe they got it as well. Who knows? Do they need any help? Nope, they've mounted up in their trike. And looks like they're going to be just fine. So we'll say goodbye. The scythe is our salvation. Huh. Alright, that was funny. There you go. So we got ourselves an extra quest there with the help of our Horde player. How funny is that? Alright, let's carry on now with our quests. Oh. 
remembering too of course now that every time these guys hit us they're actually going to get 17 fire damage because of our molten armor so it's a really really handy buff to have on that's okay, we still need lots of horde keys. We've only uh, freed one of the huntresses and we need to of course get four more. And not only that, but we need to be looking out for the parts for the big papa. I need a target. And there we go, a horde cage key. Let's get ourselves another little helper. There we go, two out of five. Hopefully she'll come along and help us. Good stuff. Opening up with the good old Frostbolt as always. And then we're going to use our Arcane Blast which has high, high, high damage. And of course applies that buff for that multiple, uh, uh, rather damage multiplier as well. So we always want to be able to use that wherever possible. There we go, another Horde Cage Key. Now this will be interesting. Let's see if we can get more than one at a time. Because that will really uh, add to our DPS. Oh, and we have, look at that, two. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, this is going to be a whole lot easier with two Night Elf Huntresses going to town on the Horde as well with their ranged attacks, of course. And we've got another key as well, so we can probably get three. This will be interesting. I'll just clear out some room. And there, absolutely no match for us with our little mini army here. Fantastic, isn't it? Alright, another one. Didn't stand a chance. And another horde key. So that means we'll have three of these guys hanging around, helping us out. There we go, four out of five. All right, this is going to be funny. He's not going to last long at all. Look at that. And a hail of projectiles had absolutely no chance whatsoever. That's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? All right, let's grab this one as well. And we just, of course, got one more of the Horde cages to uh, open up for the quest. There we go. And there we go, we got ourselves a Horde cage key. Now, hopefully, if we can keep these guys, if they're not on too much of a short timer, we do need to go over to that water wheel over there in the distance and find the hat, in inverted quotes, for Big Daddy or Big Papa, or whatever his name is for our little Alice there. Uh, so hopefully these guys will stick around and give us a bit of a hand. I'm a bit loath to mount up in case they disappear. Uh, but we'll give it a go, I suppose. Let's see what happens. Will they follow us? They are! They're just running really fast. Okay, that's good. We like that. Let's try and scoot our way over to the water wheel here and see if we can find the hat. All right, now, what are we looking for? Let's just double check. His hat was stolen by the meanies in the Venture Co. over at the water wheel. Okay, so in order to get up there, I think we have to... Yeah, there's no way of climbing up directly. I think we have to go around, and there's a little pathway, if I remember rightly, from the old days. Um, oh, no, look, it's up here. Oh, wait a minute, there's, some, there's something up the top of here, actually. Let's climb up. I just noticed something sparkling. So let's climb up and take a look. Oh, here we go. What is this? A mechanized ice. All right, so that's one, one of the parts we need. And now we're looking for something over there. Yeah, okay. I definitely think that we have to... Whoops, fell off. We have to go around the back way in order to, to get the hat, if you like. And I don't think we can actually get up the water wheel by a frontal assault, so to speak. And have we lost... No, they're still with us. Gosh, I wonder how long they stick around for. This is very handy, isn't it? Well, with doing that quest first, so we get a helping hand. We like that. Right now, I'm pretty sure it's around this way somewhere, and we head up the back way. You can see these little, yeah, look, there's a little path here. Just a little clue, Cragpool Lake. And yeah, okay, path up the back here, and this should lead up the back to the water wheel, where we should hopefully find this what is it, BD-816 war apparatus, or as little Alice calls it, the Big Papa's hat. And 
Look at that, we've got a bit of a lookout right over the zone there. What a fantastic view, by the way. And you can see we're slowly losing our little sentinels here. They must be on a timer, that's okay. But look at that view right across to the Horde outpost over the other side there, which is very cool. And way off in the distance is our wind shear hold. That's where we've come from. You can see the water wheel down below there. Got an alpine chipmunk. Maybe we should slash love that just in case it's part of our achievements. There we go, so we love the Alpine Chipmunk. And look at this, we've got ourselves some silver as well, which is great, makes a change from tin. Oh, that was definitely welcomed. All right, so, oh, what's this? Quest discovered, Garenzo the Traitor. All right, so the Gnome Quarter comes to life with a loud buzz. Come in, Seraphis, are you there? I have noted on the map that you are near the Cragpool Lake Vaudeville. Is that correct? Why, yes, it is Professor Zack Zack. And he's saying here, it would appear that the Venture Co. has holed up at the wheel. Have a look around while you're up there. If you happen to see a traitorous gnome by the name of Garenzo Wrench Wrestle, put your boot firmly up as keister for me and for Gnome Rigon. I will pay handsomely. Okay, so we have to kill Garenzo Wrench Wrestle. And you can see it's very cool up here. Uh, in fact, we don't want to fall off this little set of stairs here because we'd fall all the way down to the bottom of the water wheel, down into the lake. In fact, we'd probably die and we'd have to climb all all the way back up manually that would be horrible so these guys here the venture co of course these are the baddies you see them in stranglethorn vale as well these guys have the hat if you like i think unless it's lying around the place i'm pretty sure these guys will drop it and there we go look at this all sorts of different layers and levels here very well designed very cool very interesting love the scenery around here these guys are throwing dynamite sticks at us. Now again, we don't want to fall off anywhere around here or else it'll be a very long climb up. Look at that, straight down there. Basically plunge to our death pretty much. Uh, so just be a little bit careful because even though there's railing here, you still can fall off. Another one coming up the side there, throwing dynamite at us. Don't have a target. And we made a short work of those two. Now I'm again just going to assume that the part that we need is going to drop off these guys as Vista has a bit of a fit. Uh, it may not, it may be actually laying around here somewhere, who knows. But there's only one way of finding out and that is to kill them all. Oh, and look at that, he's actually brought out a compact Harvest Reaper, little construct there. Alright, now, Vista's having a bit of a time of it, so we'll just pause quickly and we'll be right back. Alright, and we're back folks, silly old Vista, no idea what it was up to there, but anyway, it's settled down now. Once again, so cool around here, around the big water wheel, awesome architecture. I love all of these sorts of things in WoW, they've done so well. Now let's not forget also that we're looking for this gnome, and let's see if he's showing up on the map, yep, uh, is he, no he's not showing up on the map, that's interesting, Grenzo number two, oh yeah he is, okay it's uh, directly over the top of this one here where the war apparatus is, so that's why we couldn't see it, alright so let's keep looking around, And again, very narrow walkways here, and with my horrible vista lag, you can see there um, from across here how high up those platforms are, and once again, if you fell onto the ground from that height, you would absolutely die, uh, so be very careful around here. Unlike a lot of games, for example, Guild Wars, um, where you can't actually fall off the edges, here you can. And of course, many a time have I embarrassingly fallen to my untimely end. Um, it's definitely a common occurrence with a lot of players. Alright, this one's nasty. Here we go, what do we got up there? It's too far. Oh, a war apparatus, and we got Grenzo Wrench Wrestle as well. Okay, so two birds with one stone, this is good. Alright, let's go to town on him. Once again, we've got our Molten Armor up here, increasing our crit chance and giving them 17 
fire damage every time they hit us. Oh, that was a big hit on his behalf. He can certainly pack a punch for a little fella. And there we go, all done. Garenzo Wrench Wrestle is de dead, excuse me. There we are, the gnome quarter buzzes loudly. Wonderful, that's one more name I can scratch off my list. I will be in touch. And we're going to get ourselves 1300 XP and a little bit of silver. And we've got some Gnome Ragon as well, uh, Gnome Ragon rep as well. And here we go, this is why he's called it, uh, why Alice has called it the hat. It's the BD-816 War Apparatus. Just ask Alice and we'll just collect that. There we go. Look at that, how cool is that? We could probably actually jump in there. Um, not that I'm going to risk it because then we've got nowhere to go. Now, is there water down there? There is. Alright, so we could actually take the fast way down could be interesting or we may plummet to our death if it's really shallow you know what I think we'll give it a go let's have a look and see just quickly where our next piece is there we go mechanized fire and we've got the huntresses over there as well all right so I think it's time to go for a bit of a jump Are you ready folks here we go up up and away oh I hope it's not shallow water Fuel. All right, it wasn't shallow water. That was lucky. <clears throat> so, of course, if there is some nice deep water, that's always the quickest way down, which is fantastic. All right, so looking out for our next... Where, what are we after? Our next piece, which is find Huntress Iliona at the Windshear Crag in the Stone Talon Mountains. All right, we'll definitely head over there because I think that's the next closest thing to do, find Huntress Iliona, as Vista has another fit. Good Lord, Vista, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, off you go. I honestly have no clue what it is doing. We've got nothing running in the background. It's having another spaz. Uh, you finished now? Yes, no? Okay, it was just having a bit of a yawn and a stretch perhaps. Who only knows? All right, Huntress Ilona, Iliona, where are you? We're just going to follow our quest direction indicated there on the mini map of course and I'd imagine she's probably tied up somewhere closer. in here so we'll just get rid of this mob from the outside so we can get a bit closer without being harassed bit of a blink just to get there quicker and there we go Huntress Ileona is right there just as we thought Right, handy little plank here to come across. Oh, I remember this. I've come here, oh god, countless times in the past, back in the old days when I was leveling through here, and it used to be swarming with all sorts of mobs. Uh, the place looks the same, but it's definitely a lot different in terms of the mobs that are around, so a bit sad to see that. Okay, we need, what? Huntress Iliona's cage key? Oh, good lord, what's she got to say for herself here? Free our sisters. Okay, we don't have much time to get me out of here. You're going to have to take out Warlord Rocktrog. He holds the key to this prison. Oh, interesting. Okay, so rumble in the lumber mill. Okay, <laughs> prepare yourself, Seraphis. The Warlord comes. Kill him and take his key. Use the key to release me. Should we make it out of here, report the following to Lord Fellowmere at Windshear Hold. The Horde has aborted their plans to destroy Windshear Hold due to the efforts of one of our heroes, and that would be me. They now plan to move the bomb to Battlescar Valley and drop it on our armies battling the Horde at that location. Uh-oh, they must be stopped. So we have to kill uh, Warlord Rocktrog and free Huntress Iliona by using the cage key. And you can see here, we get a couple of different things. We've got our Thwarters boots, which are leather, no use to us. This is an axe, no use to us. But we do get a strategy guide here, which is, uh, that's quite funny, isn't it? Strategy guide has a, a plus three intellect stack to it, and it's held in the offhand. Of course, we're using a two-handed staff at the moment. So none of that's particularly useful. We'll probably get the Warshare axe there, and that will give us 34 silver. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for... There he is! He's there already! So we'll lock him down. And we're going to use a Frost Bolt. Then I'm going to use my Presence of Mind. And use that to instantly cast Arcane Blast there. A nice, powerful spell. And finish off with our Arcane Missiles. And there we go, all done. Not too hard. We've got the key. We're going to release her. There we go, well done, Seraphis. Return to Windshear Hold and notify Lord Fellowmere of the Horde's intentions and I'll venture into the Theldra Overlook and warn our soldiers. And you can see she's sneaking away there off into the distance. All right, let's have a look at our map now. We've just got to get these mechanized fire and the mechanized air to finish off the little Alice's quest. 
So we'll follow our quest markers for that as Vista decides to go nuts once again. Good lord. Right, let's have a look here. It's got to be around here somewhere. Maybe it's up the top of this contraption, perhaps, actually. The quest indicator seems to be pointing around here. Not sure if we can actually get up the top or not. I guess we'll soon find out. Oh, it looks like there might be a path up here, after all. And, yep, climbing all the way to the top. Actually, it's probably going to be easier if we dismount. And look at that, right at the top, just as we thought, mechanized fire. There we go. Two out of three down. Where's the last one? It's way over here. Mechanized air. Let's see if we can make our way there before the end of the episode. We'll mount up, scoot over across the other side here, pick up this last piece, mechanized air, and then head back to Windshear Hold to hand in. So we're a little bit over time, but that's okay. We might as well finish these off and get them tucked out of the way. So we pass these goblin gnome, what are they? Gnome bot pounders and the goblin harvesters having at each other. All right, so somewhere around here, according to the map, oh, maybe it's in this little building over here or somewhere, maybe it's in one of these tents. Oh, look at this. We've got a Northwatch encroacher. What's on your mind? And a coral snake, let's kill that in case it's part of the killing the pests achievement. We always want to be killing critters or loving critters if we can. Oh, look at this! Here it is, the mechanized air. And again, if you've played WoW since the early days, you'll notice that's a big change. There used to actually be a quest giver in here, and he would form part of a major series of quest hubs, actually. Uh, got very fond memories of doing all of these. In fact, you'd have to go back up the top there. Right up the very top, there's some mobs, or rather some friendly NPCs. I wonder if they're still there, because you used to have to journey up here. Let me have a look here. Journey down and around up through here and go up the top of that cliff there and talk to some of the uh, NPCs up there. In fact, there you go. You can see just up there, Stone Talon Ram up near there. Um, so it's definitely all changed a lot since the old days. Not sure if I like it as much now as I did back then or whether it's my rose-colored glasses uh, having that effect on things. But it definitely seemed a lot more alive and uh, more activity going on back in the old days. It seems a bit barren now. I must say I'm a bit surprised that uh, post cataclysm there's not as much action going on. There's definitely not as many mobs roaming around. Seems like a bit of an afterthought if you ask me. Like they sort of took the zone, stripped it back and uh, prepared it for you know populating for the cataclysm content and then kind of ran out of time and never did anything about it. I, I don't know. It's very rarely that I complain about WoW but um, definitely seems to be a very empty sort of zone if you ask me. Anyway, I think maybe before we hand in, what we'll do is we'll finish our recording here because Vista seems to be struggling in all sorts of ways, shapes and forms. So perhaps we'll uh, leave the hand in till the next episode. So sorry about Vista playing up there, folks. But hey, we made it in the end and we got through all of our quests and all that remains now, if we get out of the way of this gnome bot pounder, good lord, all that remains now is for us to hand in and pick up our next series. So there we go, folks. Certainly hope you enjoyed that. More importantly, of course, certainly hope you'll join us in the next episode. Certainly have, hope you're having a great day wherever you are. On behalf of myself, Sambo, and the wonderful Level 34 Seraphis, it's us saying Take care, we'll see you next time, and bye-bye.